Why are Americans messing up the French economy? France is renowned throughout the world for its exquisite culinary traditions, but American fast food companies have been posing a growing threat to these establishments in recent years. Tourists often go crazy for French food when they visit France, but these days everyone, both residents and tourists alike, stuff their tummy with American fast food. What is going on with French cuisine culture? France is renowned for its exquisite bakeries filled with croissants and macarons, as well as its elegant restaurants and sidewalk cafes. American fast food franchises, which are particularly well liked by younger customers, are now posing a growing threat to these establishments. For instance, the first Krispy Kreme store in the city had more than 500 eager customers waiting in line before it even opened last month. The project manager, Amir Boudoquen, explained, The French love American products, and there's a hype around American food chains. The love for American fast food is real among the French citizens. For American fast food firms, France is an El Dorado, claims food analyst Xavier Apilli. A lot of American fast food chains are opening outlets in France. Do you think France is a lucrative market for the American fast food chains? Though by no means the only American company to gain significant traction with French customers, Krispy Kreme is the most recent. Popeye's first of 350 planned sites around the nation opened in Paris in the spring of 2023, drawing similarly large crowds. Franchises such as Five Guys, KFC, Chipotle, Burger King, and Starbucks have been present in France for a long time and have plans to open hundreds more locations in the near future. However, McDonald's continues to reign supreme in the fast food industry, bringing in over $6.5 million a year from its more than 1,500 French stores. Actually, after the United States, the European nation is the most profitable for the corporation. People's eating habits are changing. They seek a new experience and are eating more quickly than they used to. The American chains are well capable of meeting that need. American brands are becoming more and more recognizable to younger consumers, thanks to TV and movies, which increases the allure of American-made goods. The director general of Krispy Kreme, France, Alexandre Maizu, stated that this is all about American pop culture. According to him, the business appeals to Generation Netflix. Every American series has been seen by them. They appreciate American culture and way of life. A recent poll conducted by food consultant firm Gira Conseil found that fast food American restaurants now account for over half of all restaurant revenues in France, although selflessly. In France, the nation that gave us cafes, bistros, and the Michelin star, this is the first time that fast food sales have exceeded those of sit-down restaurants. Due to its 1,200 McDonald's restaurants, France is now the second largest consumer of American fast food worldwide. The French work an average of little over 2,002 hours a year, or 38.5 hours per week, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This suggests that there is plenty of time for a sit-down lunch. Is this the reason behind more fast food consumption? An economic theory that focuses more on cost could be the reason behind the popularity of fast food in the United States. In France, food is not cheap. French consumers spend around $1,000 more on food than Americans do, at $3,263 per person annually. France is known for having some of the most expensive food in the world, according to the Department of Agriculture. A French customer may find that a mug baguette makes more sense than the customary multi-course cafe meal given the state of the economy since the start of the Euro crisis. According to the survey, consumer confidence and consumer spending in France were negatively affected by the global economic crisis. It also had a detrimental effect on consumption and intensified the tendency toward bargain stores and private label goods. A market research organization called Business Monitor International published a report on French food and drink spending in 2011 that suggested pre-existing trends toward increased fast food consumption may have been amplified by the economic crisis. American food has a great influence on people all around the world. It's difficult to change a nation's palate, yet American food has managed to do so. What distinguishes American cuisine from other cuisines so greatly? American cuisine is known for its high fat, sugar, and salt content. It's also frequently highly processed. Numerous elements have shaped American cuisine culture, including the nation's history, geography, and immigrant group. The quantity of fat, sugar, and salt that is employed in American cuisine sets it apart from other culinary traditions. American cuisine is frequently far richer and sweeter than that of other nations. The American propensity for processed foods, which frequently contain more of these substances, is partially to blame for this. The impact of immigrant populations on American food is another element. 
Numerous American cuisines are either original creations or adaptations of recipes introduced by immigrants. The manner that American food is prepared also sets it apart from other cuisines. American cuisine tends to be significantly simpler than that of other nations. This is partially as a result of American fast food culture's influence. American diners usually want their cuisine to be served quickly, simply, and fuss-free. Therefore, although American food has its own distinct qualities, it is also influenced by a variety of elements, such as the history, geography, and immigrant populations of the nation. Fast food and sandwich businesses accounted for 54% of all restaurant turnover in France last year. For the first time, the market for convenience cuisine, or fast food, has surpassed that of classic French brasseries. Why are the French so crazy about fast food? French cuisine is so renowned that a nation's passion for it defines it. And it is so delicious that UNESCO's wise counselors designated it as a component of the world's intangible cultural heritage. For a long time, French eating habits have served as a model for other countries. They include portion management, a diet high in whole foods, minimal processed or fast food, a diet high in fish, fruit, vegetable oils, and full-fat dairy as well as organized, social, and family-centered meals. After all, French women seldom gain weight. However, a poll conducted earlier this year by the consulting firm Gira Conseil revealed that 1.46 billion burgers were devoured in France in 2017, nearly 10% more than the previous year, by the nation's 66 million inhabitants. Even more astonishingly, burgers are currently offered on the menus of 85% of French eateries, not that they'd be considered Malbu. Burgers with toppings include rocket, lime zest, crabble con cheese, compote of red onions, and a smoked spice sauce costing 12 euros. However, 70% of the burgers eaten in France are by no means fast food. They are consumed at a table at a proper restaurant, usually accompanied by a glass of wine. This is not to say that the birthplace of haute cuisine hasn't succumbed to fast food. It has. The food habits of the French are evolving. The fast food industry in France has grown rapidly due to rising time pressure and the rise of home delivery services like Deliveroo and Uber Eats. About 51 billion euros was sold by France's 32,000 fast food restaurants last year, which is 6% more than in 2023, 13% more than four years ago, and nearly three times the amount in 2005. Fast food joints currently hold 60% of the market for French restaurants as a whole. And that's the issue. In France, eating well has become more expensive, both at restaurants and at home. Large, influential companies handle and distribute food throughout the nation. According to the Nation Food Agency, ANSYS, French eating habits are no longer a model. Instead, they are characterized by an increasing amount of highly processed foods, excessive salt, and a lack of fiber. Despite its unique connection to food, France is far from impervious to la malbu. Up to 30 million French people, primarily from lower-class homes, may be obese or overweight by 2030, according to a report released by MPs last week. Unless large food companies reduce the amount of salt, sugar, fat, and other additives they use, and kids are taught to eat a healthier diet, according to Loïc Prudhomme, a member of parliament, French families spend less money and less time on their food than ever before. We must regain control over our plates. Michel Cruzet, an advocate for reduced salt content in food, took a more direct approach. He claimed that although French people are not dying from eating too much food, our diet is gradually killing us. Do you believe that in the upcoming years, American fast food will make its way throughout Europe and eventually the rest of the world, following France? Do share your views on this in the comment section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye.